Hello and welcome. Um, this isn't going to be one of those videos where, for instance, they tell you how to save time washing up and uh, they spend the first 10 minutes explaining the concept of time and then another 10 minutes listing the items that you might wish to wash up and the different ways in which you could do it and then they end up by telling you to stick it on in the dishwasher. We'll get straight to the point. Happiness. Why are you wasting your time chasing happiness? Well it's quite simple. Happiness is ephemeral. It's fleeting and uh, you don't even know when you're happy. You only remember a time when you may have been happy. So this happiness that comes from outside and from sources that you must chase uh, this guy here, a lot of people think he's Buddha, but he's not, he's Buddai, and um, he says contentment is the thing, not happiness. Contentment comes from inside yourself, and if you seek something inside yourself, you're more likely to find it. You're less likely to waste your time, and, uh, and there it will be when you look. It's an acceptance of the way the world is and what you have. It's an acceptance of things that you have no control over. And it's a willingness to be content with those things. Now Buddhai here was a very wise man and lived around the 10th century. Um, we now have to call it after the common era or part of the common era. We used to just call it AD but that offended all the non-Christians so we're not allowed to do that anymore. Buddha himself, and by the way if you're interested, this is Buddha, this one here, and he lived Ooh, 5th or 6th century BC, or as we now have to say, BCE. And that was Gautama Buddha. And a different person entirely from this guy, who's known as the Laughing Buddha sometimes. Hote in Japanese. And uh, he carried around this little cloth bag. Can you see this little cloth sack here? That was called a, a Buddha eye, and that's why they called him it. He was probably called Sam or something equally not the same as what we know him as. Anyway, happiness versus contentment. I'm going to make you aware over the next few videos of different ways in which you might find contentment. You might not do it in exactly the same way that I do. Um, but here are some ideas, and the first thing we need are two sacks of magic and a trip in the rover. So come with me now and we'll have a little drive. And welcome to Rover. It was a P4 Rover 80, was the first car I ever remember going in. And this one's the same, a poor man's Rolls Royce. There's no power steering. When you've driven that, you've had a workout. It wallows about and manoeuvres like a battleship, but I wouldn't have anything else. Really lovely. Smell of hemp-stuffed leather seats. It's the smell of 1960. Costs a fifth of the price of a modern car, and if you're an exceptionally lucky person, you either have the ability to fix it, or you've got a very bright son-in-law who understands these things. So off we go down these quiet country roads, it might just as well be 1960 as we drive along appreciating the beautiful sky, the green trees and hedgerows and the journey ahead. So you see contentment beats happiness hands down for me. It enables you to appreciate things, simple things like nature, fine weather and a grand old car like this to travel round in. Anyway, here we are, we've arrived, and for not very much money, two bags of magic. Two massive sacks of magic. You probably already guessed what these are, but if not, the answer will soon become clear. And uh, we're going to feed the birds. There have been times in my life when birdsong, if you can call it that, did nothing more than irritate me. 
rooks and crows cawing, seagulls screaming and screeching, but worst of all where I live, wood pigeons flapping and cooing, landing on the roof of my house at silly o'clock, waking me up with a tap dancing. I wasn't far off climbing up a ladder with murderous intent, but instead I decided I would learn about them. I even got to recognise some of them, gave them names. Did you know that the longest recorded lifespan of a wood pigeon is over 17 years and that they mate for life? In fact, we've got one um, and you may see her later. She's called Esther and she's been with us and living with us for ooh, easily 12 years. She used to have a husband, Hugo, but he unfortunately was hit by a car. Anyway, here we are, we've arrived, better get this stuff unloaded. It's quite cheap this, but at the moment about £12 for a, um, a sack of value bird feed, wild bird feed. It gets heavier every time I have to pick one up, but there it is. We'll keep it in a metal bin, keep the rats out, and then give them plenty. And every time I do it, every scrap of it goes. Now look at this, the state of this bird bath. Now that green algae in there, it's no good. The birds don't like it, and no more would you. You wouldn't drink out of a cup like that, so uh, we won't give it to the birds either. We'll give this a good clean and then fill it up with fresh water. There we are, that's better isn't it? Not completely clean but nice and clean for the birds. Now we'll fill it up. You'll be surprised how they flock to this. It's not an easy thing for them to get fresh water. And now let's just have a look and see what arrives. It's a dunnock. It's a blue head. And he's very keen. He's going to go and get his pal. His mate. Be back in a second. Here they are. Look at this. Look, he says, it's lovely. Jump in, have a go. But she won't. She'll have a drink. She's not getting in. It's a bit windy. See it blowing the feathers around. Interesting birds, dunnocks. They don't mate for life. Um, the male will bring twigs and leaves to the female for nest building purposes. And if she likes the look of them, she'll allow him to mate with her. She'll also probably allow another six males to mate with her if they're around. And likewise he's a ladies man so... Hedge sparrows, they're not related to sparrows but we call them that. Look he's got in. <laughs> there we go then. You enjoy that Mr Dunnock. They're not bothered by the traffic at all. worth doing it all just to see his little face. And now who's coming walking down the drive? It's Cecilia, the female pheasant, closely followed by Algernon, and they've been with us all year. In fact they've been with us since last year. They've managed to avoid getting shot or getting hit by cars. And here they come. He's a beautiful looking bird. Pheasants are so lovely looking, with their big red faces. And he's happy as well. If you listen carefully, you'll just hear him making little pleased grunting noises. Let's just zoom in and have a look. So you might be able to hear. There we go. Now listen out.
There, sounds a bit like a chicken. And here he comes. He's worked his way all the way around to the edge. And this is where there's a nice big pile of food for him. And he knows it'll be there. Every day. She's sitting on a nest somewhere nearby. And I'm rather hoping when she hatches her eggs that the two of them will bring these chicks down the drive like they came. We'll get to see them all. Isn't he beautiful? Look at the pattern of his feathers. Oh, and here's a blackbird and a chaffinch. And I'm just going to let this uh, this run for another maybe 10 minutes or so. You'll see nearly every variety of bird arrive. Look at that yellow hammer on the top there and a robin with his back to us. They're not bothered about each other really. They all live in harmony. There's that dunnock again. Just come under the hedge, uh, under the table there. Can you see him? Oh, and the collared dove. And there's usually more than one collared dove. So we just sit and watch these. It's an absolute pleasure. You feel at one with nature. And I don't disturb these. The camera's set up and they're not bothered by the camera. But um, it's just such a joy when I watch the film back again and see what's there. So look, we're looking at contentment. Don't bother chasing happiness, you're not going to find it, and if you do it won't last for very long. Look for contentment. Look for my next video, I'm going to show you something other than feeding birds that will bring you contentment. Enjoy the rest of this. Like and subscribe if you want to, if you don't, don't. Bye for now, enjoy these birds.